Hey guys, it's J. Rye and Coco. Oh, and Coco. Oh, and Coco, and Coco. <laughs> We'll introduce you three times. It's perfect. We are in Hollywood today, Hollywood, California, and we are at this amazing exhibit that Coco got us tickets to, the Van Gogh exhibit. I love Van Gogh. It's really, it's like a, it's like a whole different experience. So they've taken some, it's all inspired by his work, and they have taken some of his most famous works and turned them into like multimedia experiences. There's like this cafe that's all themed after his sunflowers picture. Of course, we're going to see Starry Night. Uh, what are you excited about? Starry Night. That's Starry Night. Yeah. So anyway, let's check it out. It's it. So the cool thing about finding this exhibit is that if you know Hollywood, it's not too hard to find because it's in the old Amoeba building. Did you know that, babe, when you were getting the tickets? Um, no, they didn't announce the um, where it would take place until a couple of months ago, I feel oh, like. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they didn't have a set spot. Even, welcome to Hollywood, you hear the sirens. Um, the thing about it that was funny is even on the website, it, like there are some parts that still talk about it being a super secret location. But yeah, so it's in the old Amoeba building. Uh, they've redone it here, so you might recognize some of the features. But yeah, this is where the Van Gogh exhibit is. It's really cool too because all the way on the roof there, where they would normally have like album titles, they put different parts of Van Gogh even on the roof. So they took over, you know, from floor to ceiling all the way through here to make this exhibit really come to life. You know what would have been nice if they would have kept the amoeba sign up there, just like in other with other old buildings around LA. They have like the old sign of what that place used to be. I really liked Amoeba Records. Amoeba Records have been, had been around for a very long time. I had been there when I was like 17, 16 years old. And uh, yeah, I miss it. And I think it would have been well, nice. Well, there's a new one. That... Where? They, yeah, they remade it. That's not cool. <laughs> you haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's new. So that's why it's not cool. Well, but. I feel you. But one of the interesting notes that I'll skip ahead to right now is that the backstage of this Van Gogh exhibit is still the old amoeba. I went walking to the bathroom and as you can see here, the walls and the doors are still covered with artist stickers and old ah, music so events. that's why it took you forever to get back from the restroom. No, it took me forever to get back because somebody, you know, really, really <laughs> blew up the place uh, before I got there. And uh, that was not at all amusing. But anyway, let's get into the lobby here. And the lobby's pretty tight. Uh, we got VIP tickets because baby splurged, so that was awesome. And so we had like no basic weight at the front. Make sure you ask which line you're getting in because it can be a bit of a long wait if oh, you're not yeah. careful. So make the sure the VIP line is the short line, guys. The long yeah. line is like general admission. Spoiler alert. And so we come into the <laughs> lobby. Welcome. We come into the lobby here and the lobby is just barely decorated, which I understand because, you know, they don't want to take away from the actual exhibit. And look at this, you literally walk in right through a picture frame. So you're entering the gallery. I really like that detail. This is really nice. Um, from a distance it kind of looks like it like it could be an elevator like I was waiting for the doors to open oh yeah okay close. I get it yeah but uh, no you just walk right through it and now it's like a bunch of multiplied picture frames going all the way down and if we look all the way down the hallway this first picture of Van Gogh's this first painting of Van Gogh's is already coming to life look at the river Wow I can't wait to see the rest. I want pictures everywhere, but there's so many people. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, yeah. <laughs> there's definitely more people than I would like, but, but it's still pretty good. So as we leave the first installation here, which is pretty cool, we're walking right into a room. It's, it's not quite Starry Night, but it has huh. a feeling of it. It does. It's really dark in here, wow. It's very dark uh, and lots of little planets. This almost looks like our nursery. I know, <laughs> it does remind me of it. What clever timing, right? So, so um, we have to get a picture here. Yeah, let's take some pictures. And just past the 
starry room, I guess we'll call it, the planetary room perhaps. Uh, look at this, look at the snack bar. It is all sunflowers. Oh, I really like it. And I like the sunflower painting that he, that he. Yeah, one of his most famous works for sure. And they're literally coming off the wall. So they're like all handmade they're sunflowers. They're like silk sunflowers. Yeah, look at you that. You find like in a silk plant. So cool. And okay, so let's check out the food. Let's see what they've got. Oh my gosh, I love how they made sunflower desserts. Oh my god, that looks very sugary. It looks amazing. Not a lot of frosting. I love the detail. It looks it's amazing. Awesome. Like I wouldn't even want to eat this. You, I it's will. So cute. Watch me. <laughs> um, tons of alcohol I'm seeing here too, and uh, they they did just tell us a moment ago that we can take drinks into the full gallery. Into the VIP. Look at all too. the booze, though. It's like spritzer and and vodka soda and and wine in a can. This is a this. I think they really want to uh, get some people hammered and also make some more money. Of course, because I like to make a lot of dumb purchases when I'm drunk, and I'm really excited for the uh, for the little gift shop place. Well, we'll stay sober today. <laughs> um, okay, off to our left from the bar. We're still we haven't even gotten in the exhibit truly yet, but off to the left they have some history of van gogh here you're welcome to check that out uh which is kind of it's a cool way to sort of like wet your palate if you will to get uh you know inside this is too much to read right now it's too much right now exactly and then look at this hollywood sign so i beautiful. guess beautiful it's like oh you, my god this exhibit is traveling the world you know so it's already been in new york and toronto i believe and texas somewhere and san francisco well they're selling tickets to like 30 or 40 different places i think uh but right now sure it's in la here with us that must be the customization of the hollywood sign there and they've also got the, his letters um, starting from the floor going all the way up to the ceiling. This is an interesting installation here. It also has a QR code to read more. Again, we'll do that later. Oh, this is so nice. He only sold one painting and he wrote lots and lots of letters to people. Oh, that's sweet. And yet, no one here today wants to read the letters. I don't want to read the letters. <laughs> I'm saving this for later. Well, but I mean, everyone's going to the gallery. Everybody <laughs> wants to see his work, which, of course, became so much more famous, you know, after the fact, you know, uh, uh, after his death. It looks like you could write him a letter and he responds back to you. Oh, is that's that? That's what this is saying. I see. Okay. Here's a giant portrait of him his self-portrait that uh, people are taking photos Love that in front painting of. as well of course we're gonna stand here and do our portrait in front of it <laughs> and let's do some video in front of it too so what are your so babe what are your thoughts so far I mean we're just a couple minutes into this what how what are you what are you digging yeah well I mean I'm excited for more like I'm I'm ready to like see what else there is right like this building is already bigger than I already than I thought. It seems like the way they, I don't know, the way they have it set up. Um, I, I want more. Like this is cool snack bar, yay, great, right. you know. But well, also uh, what we can do really let's quick get is to go the main into. Event. Uh, well, I, okay, let's let's get to the main event. So well, let's do that, um, and we'll come back to VIP in the gift shop after. All right, so we're walking the final hallway to get to the gallery, and oh, oh. wow. Oh my god, look at the circles. That's very clever. <gasps> For social distancing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so you, if you want to really stay distant, yeah, you can go into the little circles. Lots of seating in this room. Yeah, look at the... Well, I mean... There's a couple different rooms, and what it looks like is that the the show is going to go on in multiple places at the same time. So it's basically... You can find a spot in any of these rooms. You, um, if you're VIP, they also they give you some seat cushions, so you can like make your own seat, which is kind of cool. I think they give everybody seat cushions, but VIP people keep get to keep the cushions oh okay and so we get everybody to everybody else returns it because like everybody else has tags 
Well, that's another awesome feature of VIP for sure. So, okay, so we've got a couple different rooms here. Here's another interesting thing is like, look at how, okay, well, you know what? The show's about to start. So let's watch the show and then I'll come back and tell you a few more things.
amazing. And I, it was, it was interesting too how it had a couple of times where it almost seemed like it ended and people started applauding and then again. Right. And then, and then I was, was like, more. wait, that's it? Oh wait, no, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness there was more. I mean, right? it, like. I don't know, like, uh, I think it's right about the right length. I don't know exactly how long that was. It Maybe felt like... like 30. 30, 35 minutes, minutes is what it, like, I, I think based off of what it seems like the camera, because like, I started and stopped a couple times, but... That was uh, so cool. Really great music. The graphics yes. was awesome. Yes. And something else uh, yeah, I'm going to show you right here, too, is that... This second room, instead of having ottoman and seating, what they have is they have all of these different mirrored, um, what would you call it, mirrored installations that also reflect the movie. So it's like you have the walls showing the movie and then you also have these mirrored parts which are really interesting because it sort of chops up the movie in a different way and, and I don't know, just, just adds another 4D type of feeling uh, to what's going on oh i get it I, I didn't well we we sat in front of those so i didn't get to see what that looks like but i could but now but you I see understand. now yeah. you see the footage uh-huh yeah really cool all right well let's head into the gift shop and also uh just as a heads up i am going to show the footage again one more time so if you didn't get enough uh right after we wrap up we'll uh, put some more of the footage up too or if you just want to zone out to it, because it's really it's it's really gorgeous to just uh, uh, check out, or you know, have some plant medicine and watch watch, oh. and watch it some more. Uh, anyway, so uh, here's the little exit, and uh, okay, here's the gift shop. Okay, I mean, it looks like what I was expecting. Um, here's oh his God. artwork here, which you can buy in poster form. Um, it's. It's really, okay, there's a lot of people in here, and it's, um, it's overwhelming, but I'm like, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Like, they have everything you could ever have imagined for this store. I'm seeing posters, I'm seeing shirts. Sketchbooks, yoga mat, look at this. Look at wow. the yoga mat and yoga outfit. <laughs> to go oh, yeah, uh, they to, have sweaters. To, to purchase separately from the yoga mat. You Pins must get the yoga and outfit. Patches. Yeah. Oh, um, this is so cute. Oh, look at these little plush dolls. So many wow, items. Wow, $35. Yeah, that's a little pricey. Um, and yeah, I saw teacups. I saw vases on the other side over there. Um, tons and tons of goodies. Um, you know, I would have totally gotten a Starry Night teddy bear if they had it. But. Uh, yeah, I don't see any. Um, well, we can ask when we're checking out. But I think that, yeah, I think that this shows its hand that this is a giant marketing <laughs> and, <laughs> and merchandise event. Um, and also, you know, the, the, the alcohol in the front, but so, okay. So as, as we're heading out, babe, so like, what are your, what, what are your thoughts? What are your, what, what is your overview of this? I mean, this, the, I like what they're doing with the place. Um, now that it's not a record store. I mean, this, this is nice. Uh, I feel like the movie, this experience, I mean, if you're here longer than an hour, like, I feel like you overdid it because I mean it didn't really take us that long did it we're almost approaching two hours actually at this point ah. so um, we... well I mean I feel like this is great but there's really not much to it like you walk in you're at the snacky place and you check out you know some of the stuff that they have there and then and then it's the movie that runs for like 30, 35, 40 minutes. And yeah. then it's the gift shop. And, right. and that would sit. Well, right. But also it's like there's no talking during the exhibit. So it's not like a movie where we could sit there and, you know, have a attention span of two hours. I think right. that I think it's just right, actually. Um because it's got the you know the, the the 3D and the 4D type of effects going on in the room, I think that it's something that families can enjoy. I I think it'd be difficult 
to do that much more with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. may, maybe, you know, I don't know, could have used a, a, a few more photo ops, maybe. But I think there were plenty. The whole entryway was for that. And then also, you know, what we didn't show people is, let's show people VIP really quick. Oh, the VIP room. Right. Kind of so, like a very, like a New Orleans type of vibe. It that's did. What it, that's what it, you know, that's what I got it. Yeah, it's 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 all green, green light. I loved it. It's it's some Wizard of Oz type of feel. And, um, but it's very warm. I don't know if just I today. the lighting. They're having an issue with the air conditioning, but this particular room is very warm. And there, uh, there were some people that walked out when we walked in, but um, this could be why there's nobody in VIP. Also, there's really nothing going on here other than it's just a place it's to just sit. just a little room where you can sit and enjoy your drinks. Yeah, I mean, you still need to snacks. get your drinks outside. So I don't know, if, you're, if you like being separate from the public, then this is... This is your room right here, but nice place for a break. Yeah, a nice place for, for a, a break. Woman. Yeah, exactly. A beautiful pregnant lady that wants to see some <laughs> fine art, indeed. Uh, any other thoughts on the uh, on the gallery, the exhibit, babe? Um, I would give it a seven point five out of ten. Okay. All right. Seven point five out of ten. Uh, I mean, I've heard your criteria. I'm going to give it a nine because oh, wow. I think that I think that it hit the mark. I think that it's good. I think it's affordable. You know what? I'm I'm probably like compare. I've been to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. <laughs> there was so much there. Yeah. So I think that's why I'm like, wait, what? This is it? Yeah. Oh, well, this okay. is it. But this is nice. And it was nice. And it was awesome. And it's a traveling exhibit, right, so it's not right. it's not trying to be every ounce of his life it's a it's a digestible multimedia version of an art gallery and um well you guys saw it i think i'm gonna change my 7.5 to an 8. oh all right well i'm gonna change my <laughs> 9 to a 9.02 <laughs> anyway as i promised here's some more of the gallery so that you can just enjoy this and check out and enjoy the music thank you so much for being here
Thank you guys for being here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We have memberships. Don't forget we're live on Tuesdays. Jay Rai and Coco talking about our pregnancy and after this airs and after our baby's born, then we'll be talking about all sorts of other things. But, really? I thought this is... Oh yeah, babe. This is forever. You didn't read your contract God. very well. Every, <laughs> every Tuesday till we croak. Anyway, it's Jay Rai World right here on Instagram and on YouTube. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.